What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to some more Game of Thrones! Look at that little harp O. I don't know if you guys can see that. And the Ove. I don't know. I don't remember if you guys can see my mouse or not in this. Um, I just had a horrible time getting this stupid freaking... God, God. Whenever Telltale releases a game, I have the biggest of all issues. So many issues. Uh, if you haven't watched the other episodes of this... You'll, you'll maybe be wondering, oh, I haven't seen this series before. Why are we starting on episode freaking, what is this, 16 probably? Well, if you don't know, there's, this is a series that's released every so often. So um, this is the fourth segment, the first fourth episode, I guess, in the series. I'm um, hoping the game doesn't crash as it normally does when I'm recording and I click start. I don't think it's going to. Yeah. Maybe. I guess I shouldn't get my hopes up. Oh, no, that's a long loading screen. I've had a lot of issues with this. A lot of issues. Um, oh, is it going to go? And I might have another issue now, depending on this. Oh, I might have froze. Oh, man. Did we freeze? Oh, oh, I got it working. I got it working again. Oh, I just stopped recording for a second and started, and it worked. My father is planning to make a move against your family. Ooh, who's moving in where? He knows all your weaknesses, all your plans. Because you have a traitor in your council. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. A great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. I have no idea who that could be. We'd be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. That's enough, Andros. Andros. Dross. Is that some shit story for little kids? Your mom's little I've kids. Heard stories, old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. I'm part of the Free Folk. People round here call wildlings. Lol. I forgot about all this. It's been My a while. My name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard. Oh yeah, I also forgot about I that. I didn't make a mistake in trusting. Not that you. I really care about her. <laughs> if it isn't Elena Glenmore, you're not still marrying into this wretched family. Perhaps we'll remain allies after all. Yay! It's a long journey to Marine on foot. Marine. Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, because that's not going to become really important if or anything. If you presume to speak of my dragons, you best choose your words carefully. Ah! Dragon! Ow. Are you going to be a good little forester? Look at that stupid Learn little pimple lesson. wart on his forehead. Stay down. Look at it. Yeah, I stayed down. You can be Lord Roderick. So long as we all know who holds the reins here. Foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your ward. Kill him if they give you any trouble. Aw, oh, yeah, I forgot about him as well. I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first, like a pig. Uh huh. Tell me more. Tell me more, asshole. Yeah, I made him suffer. I made him suffer. It's one of it. I was one that. 10% of people that made this guy suffer. He deserved it. I don't even care. That guy was an asshole. He killed my dad. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm quite frankly, I'm really surprised my game save uh, still works. I had to go through a whole bunch of files and try to make this game work. Because whenever I try to load this game, who is this? Oh, right. The, the, the guy we just killed. He looks a bit different. He looks a bit frosty. And armless. Oh no, his arms, <laughs> his sleeves just kind of blended into the background. It's up higher. Am I getting in troubles? I took a little tumble down the cliff. Does everyone know it was me? I knew you were a killer the day you arrived. Is that a horrible thing? Seems Brit found out too. <laughs> It's funny because he's dead. Now they all see it. What sort of brother you really are. It wasn't my fault. Uh. He attacked me and and we fought and, and you threw him clear off the wall. You told me what you did to get here. We both know you had blood on your hands. Well. But now you've killed one of your brothers. I wonder what will happen. You lose your head for this, Tuttle. Yep, guess I gotta go to the northern wilds now. You'll be disgraced, dishonored, and burned till there's nothing left of you. You won't execute me. 
With man's well, that's coming, not true. The Night's Watch needs all the men it can get. Honest men. Loyal men. Not brother killers. There's only one thing to be done with you now. Hey, Frostfinger. I saw what Garrett did to Brit last night. Oh, he's gonna defend me. I'm calling that now. I was there. My relief was late, so I stayed behind. I saw everything. Yeah, he was there. No point lying. Then go on. What did you see, boy? He's gonna, he's gonna back me up. I'm calling that now. Garrett's telling the truth. Ha <laughs> ha Just like he said, Garrett had no choice but to fight back. There isn't a man at the wall wouldn't sell his own mother for the right price. You two are up to something. Some deal you worked out. Or he's defending you for... That's impossible. Finn can't stand me. Because <laughs> you're a fucking squire who thinks you're better than everyone. Enough! Garrett killed the man of the watch. There's a price to be paid for that. Well, at least he tried. Let's go. I'm sure, uh... I knew it was a mistake to make you a ranger. Oh, there's Mr. Snow. James Snow. What's to be done with him? We're heading to Crusted. You'll have to find someone else for your expedition. Your man here still has a lot to answer for. Now out of the way, Snow. Give us a moment. Then kiss him quick and be done with it. <laughs> Garrett. You told me there wouldn't be any trouble with Brit. What happened? I thought you were smarter than that, Garrett. I thought you were going to be by my side at Crestus. Well, sorry I let you down, John. I didn't mean for it to <clears> come <throat> to this. You gave me your word, Garrett. It can't have been easy. Facing the man who killed your family. Aye. Is there nothing to be done? Aside from removing Tuttle's head from his shoulders? No. But you're about to go off and execute a nest full of traitors at Crasters. How is this any different? Very true. God's be with you, Garrett. We're down a man, so keep your eyes open. Now let's move. You can go begging to your gods all you want, boy. It's the axe has the final say. What, is this happening now? Oh, I'm sure this is gonna cut to someone else. Oh no, I'm just going to prison. Go to prison, prison, prison. Oh, here, here's the part where I have to turn down and talk a lot so no one could hear the song in the background. Someone could flag for copyright and get my bum hole suit off because that sounds like a terrible thing to happen, right? I agree completely. Do you agree completely? Everyone should probably agree with me. Everybody do the flop. I don't know why that relates. I just felt like it felt like something had to be said, you know? Um, so yeah, I had a bunch of troubles loading this game. Uh, whenever I open it, I would just get a, it would load the Game of Thrones logo and then I would click to continue and then it would just go to a blank screen. I could hear the music in the background, but I couldn't do anything past that. So I had to look up a million things and I tried to like extract my save data before like deleting this game off my computer and reinstalling it but I was like I'm gonna totally lose my save data aren't I all my choices would have been for naught but I downloaded a patch that I already have that was released like a long time ago and I re-downloaded it and for some reason that made it work. I have no idea why. It was really strange and that's my little rant and how angry I was at freaking Telltale Game for screwing me over again every freaking time, man. It's freaking bullocks. <sighs> Sons of Winter. Alrighty, alrighty. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that sword in the tree. Why is there a sword in the tree? That sounds like a bad place for it. Swords can't cut trees. Only axes can do that, silly. Oh my, we're in Marine, maybe? Or heading towards uh, Burp. Hey, it's the Unsullied. That all look the exact same. Wow, they are just the same person. Copied and pasted. <laughs> I love it. Is that Breshka? Do you know how many men oh. have stood before me with false tales of my dragon? Seven. Desperate men, hoping for wealth, protection. Liars, cool, cool. every one of them. And I expect you are no different. You don't want to see what I do to liars. <laughs> are you calling me a liar? You know nothing about me. You're right. I don't know you. <laughs> she noticed that. What does that mean? Hey, it's a Dragon! 
Are you frightened? I thought you'd seen a dragon before. Yeah, and he burned my friend and almost murdered my face. Your reaction says otherwise. Viseron. I'm still getting used to it, that's all. I'm sure that's it. E3. Oh, she has little Would you like to touch scale me? necklaces? Go ahead. Unless you are afraid. Why is your dragon sound like a lion? A man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Go on. Ah, I'll approach him. I'll do it. You know, what's the worst that could happen? See, so I don't think this choice has any risk at all. Watch, he's gonna pretend to nip at me. Oh no. <laughs> You're brave, at least. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. You still have a hand, don't you? You claim you saw Drogon. Yup. Give me a reason to believe you. Well, I told her you, arm. I've heard this story before. Uh, I'm going to need more than that. I have this. Drogon. It's a tooth. How did you get <laughs> that? What have you done? Do we to not him? show you her? If you her hurt burn? him, her hurt him. He, he attacked us. Drogon wouldn't strike without reason. You must have scared him. He is not some kind of thoughtless beast. He's only a child. The men who were following us, the Lost Legion, they drew their swords and tried to fight him. And Drogon defended himself. Yep. So we somehow deserve to be burnt alive because your little baby was scared. Oh, snappers. Your tongue is dangerously sharp, cell sword. Yeah, look at her arm, though, dude. Come on now. Why did you come here? I thought we already had this conversation. Me nothing but lies. To what end? I'm, how is she so quick? We're lying. A title. I want people. My undying gratitude. I don't want your money. I just need your help. Help very often means money. My family is depending on me. I have to find an army. An army. If you could spare some of your cell swords, please. If I also came here looking for an army, but what I found. With the cries of children and people suffering in chains while their masters profited from their misery. My cell swords will help me free the slaves of Marine. It's really is their interesting being on the other Your side of the nurse. Than theirs. Uh, These are people who have suffered for years without end. What if we left after the liberation? Once the slaves, oh, that's a bad idea. <laughs> Once the slaves are free, I will sail back to Westeros and reclaim my crown. There is no after. There must be something I can do to convince you. It's interesting being on the other side of talking to Daenerys. As we speak, my men prepare to enter Marine. Because in what the show... What are about to do is much bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. So, unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself... Oh, we're going to have part of that. You have nothing more to offer me. Croft? Yeah, as I say, it's interesting uh, being because on the show we see. You may leave. Oh, that's but, it. Your Grace. See them out. I faced a dragon and lived. Nothing in Marine can be worse than that. How bold of you! You forget that it is my dragon you boast of defeating. Did you we I didn't said touch I him. Survived. Nothing more. And Beska here, she has a history in Marine. She could help guide us. What the hell? <laughs> is this true? <sighs> yes, I lived in Marine for a time. On the eastern side of the city. Fucking bastard. Hmm. As I said, interesting how on the show. So you wish to <laughs> um, help the second set. Yeah, I just let's keep talking. Guide them into it's interesting how on the I show we're this could be our only chance. We see like Daenerys' perspective, and she always seems timid Is and unsure what, what she's saying? doing, but she seems so intense You're here. Really considering this. They could prove valuable. We'll help you free the city, if you'll just consider what I've asked. We can talk about that after the slaves have been released from their chains. I believe that's more than fair. You two will join Croft and his men. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. Yay! But your uncle stays here. If I find you've lied or put my men in danger, I understand. Good. Croft will get you settled in. 
It's silly going to be Croft, a Croft dinner, man. Freaking mac and cheese all over the place. Uh, Breshka's gonna punch me in the face. What the fuck happened back there? Are we really going into Marine? Yep, I guess so. What's the problem with you and Marine anyway? It doesn't matter now, does it? Sure it does. Breshka, get your armor patched up in here. Extra bed rolls if you need them. <laughs> Piss buckets um. in the corner where it's always fucking been. Well, well. Long time since we had a piss pocket. I spent two years trying to get where I am now. Do we know what happened to his Don't eye? Fuck this up for me, Asher. I think it had something to do with Asher. Yeah, because I remember that's the reason why he now, wanted. He was gonna cut his balls off to begin with, because he was the reason why he lost his eye, and then he lol'd about it for some weird reason. He's crazy. That seems like a super inefficient way to sharpen your swords there, Beshka. I'm sure there's a wheat stone somewhere for ya. Yay. Okay, here's the perspective I'm most excited for. Curse this bloody leg! Oh no. It's not your leg that's a problem, Roderick. You've got to it's be your excuses. Practical. Excuses. You wanna take Griff down next time? You want to stop lying in the mud and letting people walk all <laughs> The sir disappeared there for a second. You're speaking to your lord, Sir Royden. He can fight his own battles. Yeah. You know why he had to stay down. Yeah. Is all this talking supposed to help? You can't just fight through the pain. You need to try something different. Like what? You can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something How? unexpected. Both what? Like what? I'll show what kind of scars does this guy have? It's, they're like weird wrinkle wrinkles. It's, they don't. It doesn't look like a burn. Come at me. Like well, it almost looks like a chemical burn kind of thing, right? It's weird. Oh right. I guess I should. Uh, I guess I should have realized I'm probably gonna be on fight. <laughs> Bring your oh, cool. down to your level. <laughs> on their knees. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knees. Wait for me to attack. Okay. My fingers are prepared. Hey! Uh, I'm sorry, I pressed Q. I was, I was expecting that to be a Q Let's thing. Try it again. Alright. Uh, Almost. Was that my fault? Again. I think I did that right. There we go. That's cool. That was really cool. Ha! Now that's how you do it. <laughs> I think you let me. Oh. And then I died. My lord, sorry to interrupt. Lena. She insisted on hmm. seeing you immediately. Lady Elena, I hear we're to become sisters. Talia. Uh oh, not anymore. Roderick, can I speak with you privately? Oh no. We're really gonna talk about privates. That's why she said privately. You remember my little brother? Quiver! Ah, uh -huh. Quiver, and he has a bow and arrow. That's lame. You can just call me Arthur That's, now. Oh, was that a nickname? I hope you don't mind us coming unannounced. But something's happened. Uh oh. I didn't know what else to do. Maybe this was a bad idea. You're always welcome here. We're to be married. You'll be calling Iron Wrath home soon. Aww. Yes, well, um. <laughs> oh. That's why I came, actually. Oh no. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. He told my father Griff had subdued you and... And that my sister would make a fine reward. Are you serious? As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean... He demanded I end Albatrogel and marry his son, Griff, instead. Are you serious? Lord threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, would be slaughtered along with you. Father acted uh... a damn cow. He agreed, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. That arrogant, pig-eyed prick! Lena, we're in this together. I won't let this happen. Yeah. I knew you'd help. Of course. But my father won't listen. She's gonna die, isn't she? I'm not gonna be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not gonna be some prize for him to rip open. Good girl now. 
We have to get rid of him. Now! I can't think of any other way. My father won't see reason. Yeah, I guess so. It's time someone brought Griff down. We were hoping you'd say that. Oh, do we got some peoples? Or is he summoning squirrels? Oh my god, this is amazing. Oh, there's only... Well, six if you include Quiver. Oh! Seven, eight. You brought your men. Nine, ten, eleven. I command father's elite guard. These oh. men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and close combat. They're yours. How many people? If you'll help I think us we have a 20 person Griff. garrison at uh, Iron Man. Oh, God. 20 men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for 20 the reach. 20 v 20. What do you have to lose? Oh, this Rick? is awesome. Let's do it. Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. Yes. Why he'll still have my little brother. If I hurt Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. Yeah. I understand your worry, Roderick. I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. <sighs> this is such Please, a bad idea. Please, promise me you'll do this. But what, like... I love you, Roderick. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of this. Will you help me? I'll do it. I would be happy to. Because no matter what, you, it's either my little Griff brother or the entire time. Coming. My men are yours to command. Thank you, Quip. Arthur. Could you give us a moment? I mean, there's still a chance for my brother. <laughs> we need to send people to save him or something. You don't know how much this means to me. To us, I should say. Maybe when this is all over, we could have sex. Play hide and seek I mean, in the uh... grove again. <laughs> Pretend we're still children. Forget all that's happened these last few years. I'd like that very much, Elena. Yeah. Then you know where to find me. Oh, dude, come on! Who would say farewell? Oh no, I'm scared. <laughs> she won't forget that. Oh, I'm so. She's gonna die, dude. There's no way. This is too happy for Game of Thrones. Way too happy. Horribly happy. Oh, she's gonna die. It's gonna be horrible.